everybody's having a great day. Thank you for joining me on my very first video for my new channel, The Blazing Pepper. Since it is my first video, I thought I would start with something kind of special, at least to me. Um, the pepper that uh, sent me down the rabbit hole, so to speak, uh, about 12, maybe even 15 years ago, I uh, was reading stories and, and seeing things online about a pepper people were eating that was sending people to the hospital. Um, you'd read something on, on Yahoo and be like, hey, this guy ate this pepper and he had to go to the ER and they had to pump his stomach and stories like that. Anyway, that turned out to be this, the infamous ghost pepper. And honestly, I was afraid of this pepper for the longest time. Let's see if we can get a good look at it here. Hope this picks up. I'm recording this on my own. So I hope you can see. I picked this one out of my garden just recently. And if you don't know, garden fresh peppers are just different. Um, they have a brutal burn to them that a store-bought pepper doesn't have. If you go to buy a pepper at you know, a grocery store, let's say a jalapeno pepper, you get it home, you eat it, it's got some heat, you know, it's, it's, it's hot. Um, you go pick one out of your garden, a jalapeno pepper, bring it in here and you bite into it and eat it, it's a whole different creature. Um, they're, a little, they're, they're more brutal, for lack of a better word. Um, there's more of a sting to them. Uh, I don't know if it's because there's more capsaicin. I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, I know the fresh peppers are more potent peppers. Um, and again, this is one I grew. It looks harmless, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about trying this. I'm nervous what my reaction is going to be on camera. Um, I don't have any milk. We're out of milk. I wish I had milk. And we're even out of, heck, we're out of ice cream. This could be bad. This could be bad. Um, normally, my wife is here to stop me from doing dumb things. She's at work right now. And here we are. Um, man. I know this is going to kind of, I don't like the, pa the, the taste of uh, these super hots. Um, I've tasted ghost pepper before, um, but just like a, like a small ring cut off, and it didn't taste good. Uh, they taste bitter, very bitter to me. Um, uh, it has a kind of an earthly, earthy flavor, um, but mostly just bitter, and I don't know. Tastes like death to me. All right, let's give this a shot. I'm extremely nervous. I don't even know if I want to bite into this. I'll be honest with you. This is going to be rough. I'm not, I'm not a competitive eater. I don't uh, you know, go around doing all these things where people see how hot a pepper they can eat or how many they can eat. I don't, I've done none of that. I'm actually just your average guy um, that is probably more fascinated by growing peppers than eating them. Seems kind of weird. But uh, I just I just like growing them. Um, this is going to be rough. I might as well I might as well just do it. I'm just going to do it. Get it over with. Take a bite out of this. I don't want to take a bite out of it. Where's Where's my wife when I need her? Um. There we go. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Is that bitterness? I'm not sure if that's what people refer to as floral taste, but it's bitter. Kicking in now. <laughs> Kicking in now. I ate half of it. <coughs> kind of a. There's that earthy flavor, bitter flavor. Oh, jeez. Brutal. 
shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was bad. Bad idea. It's thin walled pepper. And despite what a lot of people think, it's not the seeds. It's not the seeds that's hot. It's the white area. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I'm dying here. Whew. Wow, it's hot. Again, I'm not a professional pepper eater. Oh, breathing sucks. Oh, tearing up. Wow. It's like I swallowed a hot coal. Woo. Sweating. I'm not doing the second take of this. This is it. If I mess this video up, I don't care. That's bad. Back of the throat. I did not prepare for this. Uh, paper towels. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try not to cuss. I'm gonna keep it clean. I can feel it right here. The back of the throat is on fire. It's brutal. Brutally hot. For somebody that's not a pepperhead, this is about as hot as I want to go. It's hotter than I want to go. I'll be honest with you. I've had different pepper uh, sauces. Wow, oh, thinking is hard. Whew. I've had some hot sauces. These fresh peppers are just different. You almost get like a, a sickly feeling sometimes with these fresh peppers. Is it hot in here? Ooh. Feels hot in here. That was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. Crying. Whew. I'll feel this later. I did eat. I did eat lunch, but it feels like it feels bad. A little bit of panic. The body's starting to say, "What in the world are you doing?" Getting that sense of dread. Whew. For my first video. Mistake. Such a small pepper. It's not even that big. The back of the throat is, is what's getting me. Whew, it's brutal with the back of the throat. I'm not crying, really. Maybe I am a little bit. My insides are crying. Talking sucks. Air sucks. Taking in air, passing over the tongue and the <clears throat> throat. It sucks, man. I know this might be my last video. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, not really. No, I'm just joking. I'm delirious right now. Super hots are, are bad. Never had that much of one. It's killing me. Whew. It's killing me. Where's my wife when I need her to stop me from doing dumb things? Ugh. I do plan on giving you a tour of my garden out back where I grew this crazy thing. I have other peppers growing. I'm going to work through this. I can do this. I have seven pot brain strain yellows growing. I have... Chocolate habaneros growing. Uh, got more of these stupid things growing. Uh, what else do I have? I have smoking ed curry 
or smoking Ed, Carolina Reaper playing out there growing peppers. It's about ready to pick. That could be ugly. I have lesser peppers. I have scotch bonnets and stuff out there. Oh. It's coming down a little bit now. Oh, thank God. Oh. Uh, again, I'm uh, planning on doing a tour of the garden out back at some point. Show you guys what I got out there and how it's going. Well, my fourth season growing in a garden. I'm open to tips on how to grow peppers better. I can't grow butt pepper just save my life for some reason. If I'm slurring my speech, I'm sorry. I'm choking back saliva that tastes like lighter fluid that's been lit on fire. Oh, lordy. Kind of glad. Kind of glad the wife wasn't here to see this. It's coming down. Whew. It took a second to hit. For a while there, I was like, oh, this ain't so bad. About 30, 40 seconds into it, I changed my mind. I realized I had made a terrible mistake. And I immediately regretted my decision to do that. Ooh. I'm sorry. Pe pepper burps. <sighs> that was rough. Oh, pepper burps suck. I like burp them up that pepper again. And these taste don't taste good at all. If it tasted good, eh, wouldn't be so bad. They don't taste good. The earthiness is okay. But the bitterness, ugh, very bitter. Uh, a lot of people say fruity. I don't get fruity out of that. I get pain out of that. It's coming down pretty good now. Ooh. Wow. I don't know how long that lasted. It felt like forever. But it was brutal. Kids don't do this at home. Adults don't do this at home. Uh, I'm not a pepper person or a pepper head. A pepper head, a guy that eats peppers all the time, every week, every day, just, just to get that hot spiciness and just and they just love it. I like it. I like spicy food. That's just too much. And I'm about to do more. Oddly enough. That's just too much for me. Uh, well, what am, I, what am I saying? I did it. I'm alive. I did it. Uh, I may regret it later in the restroom. Bathroom's gonna be bad. Uh, it's about gone now. Still snotting up pretty good. Very snotty. Uh, I'm able to collect my thoughts now. I think. It's almost gone. Wow. I thought that was gonna last forever. I have to admit, I may have panicked a little bit in there. Next time, next time, I'm going to have milk, maybe some ice cream, paramedics on call, maybe my wife. Yeah, I, I've said this a few times in the video. She normally stops me from doing dumb things. And this is a dumb thing I just did. But you know what? I don't regret doing it. And I'm going to do it again. Not with that pepper. Uh, probably some hotter ones. And there will be some ones that aren't as hot. I'm going to be doing a couple different uh, uh, candy bars. Um, just some hot food. Hot spicy food in general. Um, sweat. I sweat a lot anyway. I'm sweating buckets right now. I'm doing some spicy foods, uh, maybe go to a restaurant or two, maybe get some takeout, bring it home, you know, um, see what they have to offer out there. I know uh, Buffalo Wild Wings has the uh, Blazing Challenge. I might try that. Um, whew, Willie Pete's has some really cool chocolates, uh, Willie Pete's Chocolate Company. I'll do some of those um, and uh, some things that are supposed to be a whole lot spicier than the ghost pepper. So. Tune in next time. And until then, I hope you all have a fantastic day, fantastic week. 
and uh, we're only getting started, so this should be good.